Research modeling types and stages. Step-by-step -step guide. Definitions of basic terms. Model is a simplified representation or description of a complex entity. Research model is a plan for conducting research whereas theory or proposition is an outcome of research. Modeling involves developing physical, conceptual, or computer-based representations of systems. Modeling as research methodology is written for the scientist and student researching the expected functioning of systems under specified conditions. Research modeling types. There is no common agreement on the classification of research models but, for the purpose of illustration five categories of research models are given as under. Number one type is Physical model number two type is Mathematical model number three type is Theoretical model number four type is Mechanical model and number five type is Symbolic interactionist models. Number one type of model is physical model. A physical model is a physical object shaped to look like the represented phenomenon, usually built to scale e.g. atoms, molecules, skeletons, organs, animals, insects, sculptures, small-scale vehicles or buildings, life-size prototype products. They can also include three-dimensional alternatives for two-dimensional representations, for example, a physical model of a picture or photograph. Number two type of model is mathematical model. A mathematical model refers to the use of mathematical equations to depict relationships between variables, or the behavior of persons, groups, communities, cultural groups, nations, etc. It is an abstract model that uses mathematical language to describe the behavior of a system. They are used particularly in the natural sciences and engineering disciplines, such as physics, biology, and electrical engineering, but also in the social sciences, such as economics, sociology, and political science. Types of mathematical models include trend, time series, stochastic, causal and path models. Examples include models of population and economic growth, weather forecasting and the characterization of large social networks. Number three type of model is theoretical model. In this case, the term model is used loosely to refer to any theory phrased in formal, speculative or symbolic styles. They generally consist of a set of assumptions about some concept or system, are often formulated, developed and named on the basis of an analogy between the object or system that it describes and some other object or different system. They are considered an approximation that is useful for certain purposes. Theoretical models are often used in biology, chemistry, physics and psychology. Number four type of model is mechanical model. Mechanical, or computer, models tend to use concepts from the natural sciences, particularly physics, to provide analogues for social behavior. They are often an extension of mathematical models. Many computer simulation models have shown how a research problem can be investigated through sequences of experiments, for example, game models, microanalytic simulation models, used to examine the effects of various kinds of policy on, for example, the demographic structure of a population, models for predicting storm frequency, or tracking a hurricane. Number five type of model is symbolic interactionist models. These models are used to untangle meanings that individuals give to symbols that they use or encounter. They are generally simulation models. That is, they are based on artificial, contrived situations or structured concepts that correspond to real situations. They are characterized by symbols, change, interaction and empiricism and are often used to examine human interaction in social settings. Stages of the modeling process. 
The modeling process depicted as an iterative sequence of five steps such as problem formulation, boundary setting, dynamic hypothesis, model formulation, model testing and policy analysis. A research process is a mean to answer questions that cannot be answered otherwise. The researcher needs to follow a step-by-step -step plan to execute the research. These steps are also called as research model. Modeling life cycle. The main phases of the modeling life cycle and interactions with research and development work strands. Advantages of modeling. The determination of factors or variables that most influence the behavior of phenomena. The ability to predict or forecast the long-term behavior of phenomena. The ability to predict the behavior of the phenomenon when changes are made to the factors influencing it. They allow researchers a view on difficult to study processes, for example, old, complex or single occurrence processes. They allow the study of mathematically intractable problems, for example, complex non-linear systems such as language. They can be explicit, detailed, consistent, and clear, but that can also be a weakness. They allow the exploration of different parameter settings, that is evolutionary, environmental, individual and social factors can be easily varied. Models validated for a category of systems can be used in many different scenarios. For example, they can be reused in the design, analysis, simulation, diagnosis and prediction of a technical system models enable researchers to generate unrealistic scenarios as well as realistic ones. Disadvantages of modeling. Difficulties in validating models. Difficulties in assessing the accuracy of models. Models can be very complex and difficult to explain. Models do not provide proof. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.